Hello everybody, my name is Bruno Flaven. I'm going to present you uh, the new article and some file that I've created for this post. It's about exploring Streamlight and Dash to build specific interactive web application. My ID, my, my very first concern was that I wanted to have a true alternative to PHP framework uh, because I'm working on a CMS in-house which is built on Symfony, but I wanted to see if you can you can jot an application that integrate directly data science features. So I have selected two framework. The first one is Trimlight and the second one is Dash. Okay, so just to show you uh, how easy it is, Streamlight, the baseline is uh, straightforward. I mean, this is the fastest way to build and share data apps. And what is interesting is that you can uh, mix with Pandas or NLP, such like Spacey. Uh, by the way, you can see the different topics. For instance, I've made some article about computer vision and image and NLP. So you can integrate uh, with these libraries, with this Python library, and make a real, uh, let's say, for instance, the Axiom will be one screen, one, one need, one need, one screen, one application. Okay? And then it's very easy and the documentation is pretty well done. What you require is to have Python install and to have pip. And then you can install the module Streamlight. Okay? So we're going to go directly into the first uh, that was so my very first one is streamlight i've made two kind of tests with panda and with nlp and the second one would be dash and i will show it later so let's start with uh the very first i'm not going to go through the one and the three because it's slider and stuff like that i'm going to go directly with visual card into the 3a which is this one so this one is gonna is gonna load these uh, word uh, english i can show you what it is okay this is a list of country with few element tld capital calling card etc etc and as you see it takes only few lines of code to launch such a thing so i'm gonna go in the directory I think I'm already in, but anyway, I type it and there's no directory because, 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 let me see, I think it's wrong. I'm already in it. So anyway, so what we say, we're going to launch this one. We're going to launch this one and you will see that it's going to load directly the data frame. So it's launching Streamlight and it's launching um, a server, a local server, where it's accessible directly to the local host. And then you show data frame and you see all my element right here. Okay, the flag, the stuff like that, etc., etc. So let's say, so if you want to stop, you, you hit Control and C and then stop and you can clear the console. So I think that's mostly the same. I'm gonna show you a few other ones. So 3B, uh, yeah, that's exactly the same thing. You have it Spanish where you can pick up because it's right here, it's in Spanish, okay? So that's the way you make a selected file. You see, very short, very low code solution. Uh, I just show you, you're gonna browse and see, see, and then you have, for instance, as I stopped the, the previous one, then it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna launch it. And you see, uh, I can decide it that it goes for Spanish or it can go for English. So, I mean, that's that's pretty cool. Okay, so I stop it again. Uh, oh, by the way, yeah, I'm gonna show you a more sophisticated one. Let's say this one. Yeah, this one that give the same for. Yeah, this one is is a bit is a little bit complex. Okay, I'm gonna go through it because you can. What is it? Well, this one is a little bit complex because I have a selected 
and yeah okay I know so he's relaunching you see he's running and then you can choose so don't think there's a, this list of country there's this list of capital but right here I've made a selection with Asia okay or I can have Europe okay I can mix Europe and Asia and it show up right here and below the chart between country and continent name okay and what is interesting is that if you change directly the element change text let's say you don't have you don't I don't think you have to reload yeah you see it's automatic you don't have to reload it goes directly okay except that you I'm losing my 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 selection but it's that's that's thing that really help a lot and you see okay so you see it's very easy I mean it goes through this uh, this one and I'm gonna select the continent Asia Europe Asia Africa Africa and then among this selection it will start to create the plot okay and I've just checked if it's empty uh, because I didn't take any data frame and the data frame is loaded inside panda as you see I'm calling panda so I mean for someone who have um, very who wants to tinker a new application that's perfect that's really perfect uh, I was totally new to Python one year ago almost and then uh, ah, you have more sophisticated so this one you have very much more sophisticated stuff uh, look at this one so that was taken from uh, geek that was taken from this article uh, you see and I'm going to show you the result right away oops we stop at one clear my console and then you see so I've taken this example and I'm going to show you right here the example so I think that the UK accident is loading this element and you have accident in the UK and it's much more just you yeah. and it's much more sophisticated what you can create you see you just load inside a map a certain number of with three dead people and then you have the hour where it take place and so on so you see that there's a lot of um, a lot of uh, possibility given by uh, streamlight with not much cod with a low code definition let me see the last one yes this one was like the uber it and you can find it let's see yeah yeah he's loading the data from a remote area where you have here the csv and then is going to show the number of pickup on a map if it's loading yeah it's still running and uh, meanwhile is loading I'm going to present you the second part which is more with uh, NLP uh, you see you have the row data and then they're able to show you the number of pickup 
again with Mappy. Uh, sorry, that's Mapbox. I'm sorry, that's Mapbox. You have the spot. So you see, that's pretty easy, and you can tinker with such a, such a framework. You can tinker and make your own representation. So let's see the other the other NLP. So I'm here. Yeah, I think the first one, for those who don't know what is an LP, that's the, that's the natural language processing. So I've made a few articles about that. And you can, for instance, so the first one is going to create, um, uh, I think that's a summary. Yeah, you can make a summary. So let's take one of my old article right here. And you see, you can use BART or T5 and then define your own stuff. And he's making the summary, he's running. So you see that um, I'm leveraging on few existing application and also leveraging a lot on uh, Streamlight. And that enabled me to make uh, added value features based on uh, data science, okay? Which is totally, um, which is incredible in a way because it's so, it seems so easy if you know a little bit. And then you have this summary, so you can share it with your clients or even, for instance, I'm working with journalists, you can share it with journalists and it gives you a quick, um, useful tool to make summary or to analyze text, whatever, for if you're using NLP. Um, let's say I'm going to make another test with the last one, which is a little bit a gadget, but still, uh, that's interesting. That's the third. This one is able to make a summarization, and uh, it's I've give, I'm giving I'm giving all the all, all the time I'm giving the the sources that I'm using. So this one, yeah, that's this guy Daniel Boadzi. So you just browse and select an image. So that was this one, and then I've taken the cowboy silhouette, and then I had a text, for instance, I can add the text that I've already used, and then I plot. So he's gonna, I'm gonna show you the, I'm gonna show you the image, he's gonna, print out on the silhouette of the cowboy the the keywords okay so let's plot it so it's working running and then yeah you can define few elements like maximum of words the font size and stuff like that uh, but i mean uh, yeah for sure it's it's a it's a fun or it's a gadget but still you see how easy it is to create, if it's working, yeah, you see. You see that uh, you have the silhouette and you have the word that we use in my, in my, in my text. Anyway, anyway. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I really enjoy using Streamlight. Uh, I'm going to make a second part on Dash. I know I do not insist on the interpretation of the, of the code because I think when you see this kind of code, it's pretty straightforward. Even if it's a, a more advanced uh, stuff, you can really start from scratch. And, it, and again, I say you can tinker and make your own application. And for sure, you can... Uh, inspire yourself from all these elements that have been made. 
and are full of um, data science features. So that's a great source of inspiration. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video, which is pretty strange, but anyway, it present, it goes with the article. And uh, I'm going to go back for the second part, which is on Dash, uh, and see that Dash is a bit different. It's, I wanted to have a comparison with Streamlight, but Dash is more a web publishing tool, a web publishing framework in a way. So see you in a minute. Bye-bye.